Do I? Should be going. Yeah, we are. We good. We going. Okay. <laughs> I've got my little camera holder there. Good morning, everybody. Um, this morning, I thought I would get in and create some little breakfast muffins. I know my sister was asking. No, no, no. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Um, my little sister was asking whether or not I could, my big sister was asking whether I could make some breakfast muffins or some ideas for the kids and for, for lunches and for snacks and things. So I thought I would get in and create some brekkie muffins. These are really good because these can be done to, you can use all your leftovers in there. There's no rules with brekkie muffins. It really is just whatever is in the cupboard. So what I've done is I've actually a little array of different things here. We've got some, some chopped kale, I've got some ro leftover roast sweet potato and pumpkin that I'm going to make a dip with later on today. I've got some chopped up cabbage, I've got some steamed um, broccoli here and broccolini, I've got some carrot, um, I didn't chop up yet but I will because I'm going to make a sweet version, here's just a couple plums. Um, because I am going to make a sweet version and the cool thing is this one you can actually get all of your kids involved with so you can actually sit there because you know how kids love to keep things um, uh, love to choose everything themselves when they reach a certain age um, and sometimes they can be quite fussy so it's a really cool idea with this one is to actually give them the opportunity create the board give them the the tins and get them to actually make the mixture themselves so um, in this one you can use all kinds of concoctions you can use if you can have dairy you can have dairy if you can't you can't I will grab a little bit of there you go. So what you do is just go through and randomly place different ingredients in different spots. And it's kind of like creating a little cute board. And if you guys are making these in the next couple of days, I would love to see your creations and your versions. So just going along, I've got some kale in there. Oh, it's still sitting. There we go. If you can have cheese, you can put some cheese in a couple of them. I've got some chopped up basil here that I'm just going to throw through. Katie, watch what they're doing with the camera. <laughs> Wandering off with it. Some chopped up shallots out of the garden or green spring onion. I've also got some garlic chives here. Lots of herbs. Right now it's super important to be having lots and lots of herbs. Chinese herbal medicine wise, while the world is in chaos, our best defense is actually wonderful herbs. They are all incredibly valuable uh, for medicinal purposes. You guys are getting taken on a bit of a trip there with cadence. <laughs> Some sweet potato in a couple of them. Some pumpkin. Let me know if anyone says anything on there, Katie. What I would love, guys, is if you have things that you would like me to help you guys with, like some different ingredients or um, different styles of cooking or anything like that, please feel free to request things or give me some um, something that you would like to use, you'd like me to fill in. As you can see, we're getting pretty full here. We've got cabbage in a couple of them. I know that seems like random, but this is breakfast time. Um, I wouldn't recommend bacon is one of those things that you really shouldn't have too often guys I'm sorry for all those bacon lovers. I know that bacon is lovely. I get it but um, It's one of those things that should be a sometimes food and celebrated rather than a frequent food The other thing I'm going to do that might be a little bit weird is um, I have a couple dips um, That I got the other day and so you can totally there's no reason why you cannot throw a little bit of a dip in the middle for some yummy flavor like a little a little pocket of deliciousness there we go and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna make a sweet version as well so in the sweet one I'm actually gonna pop some oat bran oh, you're right Kate some oat bran in there and I'm going to stick some, there we go, good girl. Say thank you everybody to Katie, my wonderful little helper here. I'm going to throw plums in there because I know plums are um, very, very high on my list for nutrition right now. The, the red colour of it is incredibly beneficial for the heart, for circulation. I've got some fresh homemade cinnamon here. 
which I just blitzed down all of my quills. Um, for a sweetener, I'm actually going to use, you could use honey, but I've actually got some monk fruit powder here. So I'm just going to stir that in. Give them a little bit of a stir there. You don't have to add sweetener. Um, and then I'm going to throw in some uh, oats. It'll get a bit messy this one. You could mix it beforehand and pour them in there. You know what I mean? And then we're going to get cracking on some eggs. You guys will get to see a bit of a trick on how to crack eggs one-handed. If you've ever wanted to learn how to crack eggs one-handed, now is the time. So eggs, if you hold them in your hands like this, you can rip the head and the tail. From here, it's just a little tap on the side and using your fingers to pull them apart. <laughs> this is kind of the perfect opportunity to go through. Are you going to add every single egg in? Just about, yep. So if you want to, you can um, add in some dairy, like some milk of some kind. I am actually going to I grab some kefir from the shops. Because right now, kefir, woohoo, thanks Katie, good work. Kefir is super, 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 super high on my good nutrition list right now for good bacteria. Um, even though, yes, the cooking process will um, null some of that out and they'll cook some of that out. I'm also going to add just a little bit of water. There we go. I'm going to whisk it. in here just a little bit because where are you going love where are you going you're taking everyone on a on a bit of a journey there they'll get dizzy i'm gonna pop these ones in here oh yeah there's that one and then this one and it is messy, but it's fun, and it's something that the kids love to do. Everyone loves to get messy on, in the kitchen. I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon, just because I love my cinnamon. You could also add nutmeg to these as well. We'll try not to move around too much, lovely, or else you'll, you'll make them all sick. <laughs> I'm conscious that it is early in the morning. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit more egg to this one. Yum, yum, yum. And then what I'm going to do is finish this one off with a couple pieces of plum. So plum, cinnamon and oats. These are really, really high on my list for the moment. Um, one definition is that I did use oat bran. And oat bran is just the really high fibrous parts of the um, oats. Let me just see. Someone is asking a question. Looks nice. Still on broth. We'll look at something along the line for the rest of the family. Yes, this is a great one, Adam. Um, I'm glad you're still doing your broth detox. It's wonderful. Um, Guardian Health Types are the health type that their detox is incredibly important um, for relaxing the gut and releasing a lot of heavy toxins and things like that. So it's super important to for a guardian to do a detox like that. And if you're someone who's watching this and you would like to understand what that is, um, you can reach out to me and find out if you don't know what your health type is already. You can reach out and we can get your health type sorted so that you can understand what is actually a good healthy detox for you and maybe um, what are some pointers and tips on what to eat and what to do and how to look after your body specifically for you. Let me give this back to Katie now. Hold it nice and steady for me, honey. So now I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. Um, if it's just for you and it's not for the kids, then you can add in some chilli. Mm. 
you could also add in some, um, some, oh, what else? We could add in some cumin, we could add in all kinds of flavors. So a little bit of salt. Give that a bit of a mix. And then just we're just going to disperse that through each of our little muffins here. Another question? Thank you. The vertigo going crazy at the moment. Yes, sorry, Katie's, Katie's wobbling the, the camera a little bit there. I'll try and hold it steady for you. If you wobble the camera, Katie, it can make people feel a bit sick. There we go. Filling these ones out and educating children at the same time. How wonderful. It does. It goes right down to the bottom. Very good observation, Beauty. Once these are done, pop them in the oven for 15, 20 minutes. And then pull them out. Like I said, if you want to add dairy into these, you can add some cheese. Um... I could add, can we have some cheese in it, she says. Oops, oh, oh no, oh no, man overboard. There we go. These will puff up really quite high too. Okay, can you hold it steady for me? Hold it very steady. Okay. <laughs> Cheese. It depends on what cheese is going to be good for you if you've got that, pump. Does that mean I have to hold it very still? Yeah, good, good girl. That's exactly right. Luckily, this household is dairy-free, so we've got a dairy-free cheese here. Does this mean you're going to maybe eat some of this, Katie? You going to try one? Oh, we got a yes. We got a yes. We're going to win. Katie is super particular with what she likes to try and eat. So I am very happy, Katie. It's what, what? Yeah. There we go. All right. We're just going to pop these in the oven. I'll show you guys a photo later once they're done. And um, yeah, enjoy. I'd love to see your recreations, um, see your versions of it, share it with the group. Um, sharing is caring, and in times like this, it's little bits of inspiration that can help others get through. And it really is important. I think cooking like this makes you feel good, um, it brings a bit of joy and happiness. Oh, and for those who didn't get to see it earlier, the cookies that we made yesterday. If you haven't had a look at that recipe yet, jump back. Here are those cookies. They are nice and heavy and divine. They taste wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. These were delicious. So go back, find that recipe, and um, tell me what you think. See what, let me know which creation you ended up having. Um, let me turn you around. What was your creation? Give the biscuits a go. And tell me how you go with it. Make sure you taste it before you put it in the oven. And just see if you need some other flavourings, other spices or anything like that. Um, let me know your thoughts. Mm, mine turned out great. Have a great day, guys. Happy Monday. I hope you're all getting ready for a great week. I hope this is going to help with some snacks and some stuff to keep the kids um, entertained. If you have any recommendations or anything that you want me to create... Maybe you want some more lunchbox things, maybe you want some more dinner ideas, some other breakfast ideas, whatever you like. Let us know what you would like and allow me to serve you all with some cool ideas. Thanks guys.